Hello and welcome to- did you see that rocket just waved as well? Hi or whatever. Okay, bye. Anyway, hi and welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex and today we're gonna be hanging out on Lotus Reef. I've just been obsessed with this island, I can't lie. I am feeling so good about it even though my villagers at the moment are not who I want them to be. Bam is fine for the record. Rocket, I'm getting her out as soon as possible. I just, every time I see her, I get angry. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit more echoey than usual. I still am waiting for my little soundproofing panels to come in for my room. I did officially move into my new apartment. So that's that's the echoey-ness. Also, why am I fishing when I literally don't have any space in my pockets? Okay, it doesn't matter because I lost it anyway. Let's just go ahead and dunk some cranny. I have so many things that I've been doing. I was literally just sitting on my bed playing and I was like, oh my gosh, I should record this. And then I can like get to the next thing that we're doing on Lotus Reef, which is building the three houses so that we can bring the three villagers. I think I told you all last time who they were, but if I didn't, then this will be a fun little surprise when they come in. Right, look who is visiting today. It's Leaf. I can finally get, I didn't, okay, so I noticed because I was looking at my Nook Miles Plus goals for today and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, it says plant produce, but I don't have any produce starts. And then I was like, oh my gosh, but if that means Leaf is here, and it did, it did mean Leaf is here. I also need to dive, hit rocks, grow a fruit tree and sell a hot item. We're gonna do all of that before we actually get down to business. So let me talk to Leaf first and get some produce. Okay, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I just spent like 40 years buying things from Leaf, which if you're familiar with any dialogue in the game ever, you know that took ages. Um, I don't even know what we were doing, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess. <gasps> oh no, we were, we were doing Nook Miles things. Okay, I need to plant a sugar cane somewhere. I'm thinking just like on the edge of the island somewhere, like maybe here, because I don't have any plans for, I mean, I don't have any plans for anywhere on the island yet, but I don't know, this feels more correct than putting them deeper inland. I'm also, why did I plant so many? You only had to plant like one or two. Oh yeah, you had to plant two. Okay, anyway. Um, I feel like if I put them deeper in land, it feels like I'm trying to decorate with them and that's just not the case. Let's also go ahead and shake my fruit trees on the island because I have the sell fruit goal as well as the plant a fruit tree goal. So I'm gonna shake a lot of these trees and get back to you. I didn't even have a moment of peace because now Rocket is here trying to speak to me. And like, I know she's probably just giving me like a freaking reaction or something, but I just, why does she have the audacity to be on my island at all right now? We'll talk to her anyway. We're gonna see what she has to say. You know what? I think you're ready to learn one of my favorite reactions. I'm gonna teach you. Let's do laughter. You ready? You can't even, we can't even see her. We're not learning anything. I just realized she had lipstick on. Actually, you know what? Go queen. That's pretty cool. We love a queen who's good at makeup, a beauty guru, if you will. Still don't like, still don't like Rocket. Let me be frank. I'm not fake. I don't switch up like that. Now I can't have peace because I literally, I know for a fact that there is a balloon somewhere because I keep hearing it and I need to find that or I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Yes. Let's check her out. Let's see what we got. Yes, we got 5,000 bells. I think you can get up to 10,000. So 5,000 ain't bad for a little popped balloon. Best balloon I've popped in my life. I could also go ahead and plant cherries because I've gotten so many of those, but I think I'm gonna wait and plant one of my other fruits, probably a pear, because I think I have less of those trees. I also don't know why I'm shaking all the oranges because that is definitely my native fruit. Also, someone commented on my last Lotus Reef video about how I say the word oranges, like not a rude comment, it was just like saying they like the way I say it and describing it as oranges. I don't say, oranges like as two syllables i still i say oranges oranges anyway you can take the girl out of the south but you can't take the south out of the girl except i am in fact still in the american south <laughs> now my pockets are full so i don't even did i even get pears if i did i'm just gonna plant those i did what a legend a legend absolutely I've also been planting trees haphazardly all over the island and these are so close to the entrance that I'm like, I'm gonna have to dig these back up. So I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but like, I like having all the fruit trees together so that I can come and harvest all of them at the same time. Oh, while I have you here, another update is that 
I have the pipe items now, so I can warp straight into my house. I put the other pipe in my house and I have one in my pocket so that whenever I need to go home and check my inventory, I can do that without running all the way back to the home. I remember one time at the very beginning of the game, not at the very beginning, it was like April 2020 or May 2020, I made a joke about how I wish we could teleport around the island and someone was like, how lazy can you be? Like, the island is not that big. Like, just going chat on me and I was like, it's literally a gate. What do you mean lazy? I'm not lazy. I just want to teleport. Like, either way, I'm not walking anywhere physically myself. We've got the grow fruit trees down, so we still have to do hitting rocks, selling a hot item, and diving. I'm also going to sell fruit, obviously, and we'll probably redeem Nook Miles naturally today just as we go on. So let's start by uh, assessing fossils with blathers. Also, while I do this, I'm going to show you all my new cat. His name is Roni. Oh my gosh, please. You have I just adopted him a few days ago. You have to look at him. Hi, boy. He was awake like one second ago. Roni, hi, hi, he is so snuggly also, I mean, he's like in my lap right now, he's just chilling, he loves to cuddle, I know, what is that, also, you have to see his collar, hold on, it's ducks, it's rubber ducks, it's also very loose, don't worry, he's, he's doing well, what a king, Anyway, I get to sell one of the fossils that I did. I hope you enjoyed that video of Roni. Um, he is actively wreaking havoc on the apartment as I'm filming. I can hear him in the living room messing with the blinds. Uh, he is a menace so far. He is so excitable. I mean, I adore him. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He is the light of my life already. But yeah, I can actively right now as I'm talking to you hear him destroying my living area. Now we've got the self fruit down. I kind of want to upgrade my house again, but I don't know if I'll have enough time in this video. Enough time to actually like get enough things to sell, I mean. Uh, that was a very put together sentence. Let's go ahead and dive. Let's just go ahead and head out into the waves. Rocket just watched me go into the ocean. Like not only is she the worst villager on the island, there are only two, but she's the worst. Not only that, but she's also a stalker. She's definitely out here trying to watch me get in my bathing suit. Joke's on her. I'm in my diving suit. I'm in my little wetsuit. It's modest, full coverage, baby. Remember when this update dropped and everyone was obsessed with swimming for like 24 hours and then no one ever did it again because I do. I'm also going to be keeping all of the seaweed that I catch for decor since this is a tropicore island. I feel like that'll be fitting. I can put seaweed on top of barrels or just on the beach or just anywhere where I think it should go and that'll be a really cute decoration item. Look at our characters like absolutely gulping water. This is so unsafe. Where is a lifeguard? I said our characters like you all are here swimming with me but you know what I mean. Bam always looks so intense and angry. What are you doing king? If it isn't Lex, it's been a while. Are those new clothes? What does he mean it's been a while? I thought they only said that when it'd been like a month. I talked to him like three days ago. I didn't accidentally time travel because I haven't changed the date on my system at all. What the heck? I feel like Bam is accusing me of being neglectful and I was here the whole time. Also look at Rocket, you disgust me. Somebody told me they were unsubscribing from me because I was so rude to Rocket and to that person I say, I am sincerely sorry to you but I would do it again. I would do it again. I have done it again. I would bully her again. Okay, today's hot item is log steaks, which I think are pretty easy to make. And I think I even left the materials for those just beside my workbench. So let's go check that out. And I think we can go ahead and get that out of the way. Yeah, looky here, I can make it already. We're probably gonna have to farm some materials when I'm building the houses for the new characters because I definitely have not been farming materials the past few days. I've definitely just been doing my fishing. I don't know what it is about fishing in this game, but it is addictive to me. Also, if you didn't know, let me let me place the seaweed so you can see what it looks like. It's like really cute. It doesn't have a container or anything. So yeah, you can just... There's also a different little sound effect when you walk through it. Like, I don't know if you can hear it now. Anyway, it has like a wet sound when you're walking over it. I think that's so cool, the attention that the game developers paid to sound effects when you're walking, how it changes immediately when you walk on different surfaces. That's so cool. And it changes even to, like depending on the shoe that you're wearing. 
that's such a cool little thing to include. Would you look at that? Maria waiting on approval, become best friends. I knew it. I knew it. I'm also going to send one to myself because why, why wouldn't I be besties with me? Let me go ahead and hit a rock before we go into Nook's Cranny so that I can get that little goal as well. I have been so anal about farming Nook Miles this time. I don't know why, I guess, because there's so much more to look forward to with them now since you can use them to go on the little cap and boat tours. And I also will need them when it's time to do my terraforming licenses. So yeah, good to have, good to have. I can't even pick up my clay because my pockets are full again. I love this for me. Why don't I just put things away? You know, why don't I just put things in my house? Look at me about to place my pipe and then we're gonna go right into my house. I freaking love this hack. I feel like I should clarify, even though it's obvious I didn't mean that the pipe item is actually hacked. That's like, I meant it in the, in the sense like, People who are like, here is a life hack for you. That kind of hack, not like a, yeah, you get what I mean. I need the Tom Nook stands loud and proud in the comments because look at him. It's our king or as the residents on the island like to say, it is our president Nook. I don't know why that started, but that's hilarious. Ah, oh, I forgot I still have to do, I have to do both the whatchamacallit, the bridge and the campsite before we can do the three houses. No, 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 I just have to do the bridge, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember, but that's hilarious. I have so much to do. Before we get any further in today's video, I wanted to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor, who is Fixture Gaming. They were kind enough to send me the Fixture S1 bundle, which is the Fixture mount for your Pro Controller, as well as a carrying case that holds both your Pro Controller and this mount and your Switch screen. The mount they sent me was also customized for my channel, which is the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. It is so easy to go ahead and attach your Pro Controller and your Switch screen. This is not compatible with the OLED Switch, so make sure you get it for your regular Switch. And it's also very easy to readjust where the Switch screen sits in relation to your hand to prevent any strain on your wrists. Thank you so much again to Fixture for sponsoring today's video. It doesn't matter how many times I restart this game, I'm never gonna remember what I need to build the bridge. So let's go ahead and look at that. We need log stakes, clay, and stone. I just need four log stakes and clone. I mean, <laughs> and stone. I only need four stone, so I think I'm just gonna risk it with one of these rocks and see what happens. Um, see, here's one stone already. We're doing great. I'm not even gonna, oh, I should dig a little hole because what if the one rock that I hit happens to be the money rock, you know what I mean? Okay, so this one wasn't the money rock, but the sentiment is there. I only need one more, yes! So I don't have to hit any more anyway because this is all the stone we need. Okay, so currently we have 17 wood, six stones, and five clay. We only need four of the clay and stone, but I can't remember how many of the wood you need for log stakes. So let's see if we can make that too. You need three and we need four of those. So yeah, we're good. Let's go, let's go do some crafting, fun. We're amazing. Uh, I did get this bridge ready and while I'm building it and placing it somewhere, you know what I've been thinking about today? We have a lot of inherent trust in floors. Do you ever think about that? Like think about when you see a building in the process of being made, it looks so rickety and I don't know about you, but I wouldn't walk on it, but it's like they put in cute flooring and then we're like, yes, this can 100%. Oh, I don't even know if I had that beetle. We're like, yeah, that can be trusted. I would 100% step on that. And then we do. Isn't that kind of weird? Why do we do that? Why do we just trust floors? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is all we have to do in order to place the houses. Cause he's like, you can do it now or you can wait for the bridge to be built. And then after that, that's when the campsite villager comes. I don't know how I got this mixed up. I have restarted how many times? How many times have I played through the beginning of the game? Now that's that's out of the way, it's time to start on some homes. We can wait for bridge construction to finish if you want. Or just ask me, what should I do whenever? We're gonna go ahead and do that. The pipes are gonna come in so handy when I start placing these housing kits because I don't know if you, are aware of this, but you do have to use items to craft. What am I talking about? I completely lost my train of thought, but then I just kept talking. Anyway, the pipes are super helpful because I'll have to go in and out of my house getting crafting supplies most likely. So now I can do that from wherever I place the houses. Also, I did get a DIY Nook Mile reward. This is amazing. I'm almost at 50K, 50K Nook Miles. And this is like my fifth day playing on the island. 
we're vibing. I also have so many of the most random photos from moments like this when it's like capture a memory. And so I just take a picture wherever I'm standing. Hold on and I'll show you. So like, here's my album and I've got, <laughs> the last one was also in, in here. So I got that and this. These I actually took on purpose. I wanted to get a cute shot of me. I didn't even realize that rocket was in this shot. How sad is that? Oh my gosh, she ruined it. This shot would be so cute if not for her. Anyway, yeah, I've got this random shot of me between the shops and this one. Um, wow, I look mid-walk there. This one, I'm just talking to blathers. It just catches me at the most random moments and I'm almost always wearing this outfit too. That's incredible. Here's another one. She just, she's standing. She is standing. I just realized that it's raining outside my apartment and I can also hear Roni going back at it. Also, his name is Roni, like macaroni, because he likes to lay in the shape of a macaroni noodle. I don't know if I explained that outside of my community post that I made the other day on YouTube. But um, yeah, anyway, I can hear him wreaking havoc yet again in there. He just likes to play with the blinds and they, he can't mess them up. Like they're the vertical blinds that go in front of a balcony. So it's going to be fine. But he stresses me out. Like I can hear that he is doing his best to just create destruction and he's failing, which means he's gonna be unhappy when he comes back in here. You know what's really cute about him though? He loves to snuggle. Like if I'm just sitting on the bed, he'll come up to me and curl up at my side or most of the time he'll even just climb on top of me to take a nap and I'm like, wow. You have no sense of personal space. That is the weirdest trait in a cat. I want so badly for just one of these housing kits to fit on a beach. This is so dumb. The house would 100% fit there. This is a travesty. I'm gonna have to take up land space with these houses for no reason. I'm just gonna shake the oranges off of this and hope for the best. I'm also gonna shake all of these to see if one of them has um, the item. You know how you can get like two furniture items from trees on your island per day? Looks like it's just gonna be tree branches, but I guess that's better than a wasp. Oh, we got a queen, okay. That's cool, that's cool. I'm gonna put the house here, the first one. It looks so empty now, but let's do it. This actually was such a cute idea for Nintendo to do to give us these little like missions at the beginning. Like that's adorable. I put these houses so close together, like it doesn't matter that they're sharing that plot of land on the side, like to the right of plot two and to the left of plot one. It's in both of their territories. Can I just place any of their furniture there? Ah, oh, Tom Nook is finally giving us a ladder. I didn't even give myself a ladder from Lorien. I've been so good. I've been so good about getting everything for myself on this island. I feel like it's made it much more enjoyable, like not to be dramatic, not to be one of those people who's like, oh, it's just so much more fun when you don't go to treasure islands because i disagree with that like i think it is fun when you can go to treasure islands and get whatever you want to your heart's content but i do think that this has been more fun since i've been not really relying on them for new items like i don't know i just feel more accomplished because i'm like yeah that's right i got my own soft not soft wood that sounded so bad. I got my own little uh, vaulting pole by myself. I waited. So let's see what number one needs. I'm gonna do this one at a time because I do not have the memory required to do all three at the same time. So this is the one we'll need fruit for. We need an orange wall mounted clock, an orange end table and a pot. Orange clock, end table, pot. Orange clock, orange end table, pot. Okay. We also need a hay bed, a swinging bench, a barrel. Hay bed, swinging bench, barrel hay bed, swinging bench, barrel, orange clock, orange and table, pot, hay bed, swinging bench, barrel. Okay. I think I can do this. Okay. These are literally all the materials I have. So we're just going to hope for the best here. I'm also going to go ahead and pick some flowers. So I don't have to come back up to the cliffs after I start building. So you need three of each for each of the flower wreaths that are possible at the beginning of the game. It's rough when you actually have to do the work that you're supposed to do in the game. And look at that. I actually had my net with me for once. Isn't that wild? It's like I'm a different person. I'm sorry. It's so gloomy. Why is it so gloomy today? It's like getting grayer the longer I go. And I feel like once I make cuts, when I'm like in the editing process, it's going to go from being like super sunny to super gray all of a sudden. It's going to be like whiplash in my video. So I hope you all are enjoying that. I hope it's fun. Sometimes I forget that trees aren't like rocks. Like there's no time limit. And I like hit them so fast because I'm like, oh no, I'm going to run out of time. I didn't even notice it start raining but it is intense out here. It's storming and I'm out here doing work. I feel like I need to get paid overtime by Tom Nook. And you know what he's not gonna do? Pay me more. He is 
not going to do that. I stan him, but I know him. This is so depressing. I'm so glad that my villagers aren't moving in today. Like, that would be such an unwelcome welcoming. Hey, welcome to Lotus Reef. It's a paradise, except it's going to freaking pour all day. Okay, I chopped all the trees. I left the wood out so that I would know which ones I'd already hit. So that's why they're all still hanging out here. I haven't played in the rain in so long because I usually just time travel if it's raining. So I'm like, I don't want to build in the rain. And it is so calming, y'all. I love the music. I love the sound. It's making me really sleepy though. Like I am physically struggling to keep my eyes open. Hey, we finished number one. Now I get to go see number two. I'm once again hearing a balloon. I will never know peace. I almost said purse. I'm never gonna know purse. I am actually really bad at identifying designer bags unless it's Louis Vuitton. That had absolutely nothing to do with what I was talking about, but here we go. Oh, this seems cute. A butterfly visiting kimono. Look at that. That is adorable. I guess I'll take my little diving suit off for now too, since I am not actually diving at the moment. Hey, I finished number two. We're getting so close. Check me out. Woo, all the home and furnishing prep work is done. I feel like I should be celebrated for this, but instead I'm gonna run back to Tom Nook and let him know our achievement. Also, I hope that you're not overwhelmed by the beauty of these designs. I mean, my placement is, it's like modern art, the way I've arranged everything. One time someone told me that my speed build wasn't what I said it was. It was actually just to put whatever yard. That was the vibe they were getting from my design. And I think they really hit the nail on the head. But for this build, what if I uploaded this with the title, like something speed build, and it was just that. It was just me placing those items haphazardly around the houses. The balloons are out in full force today. I can't get that one right now because it's over the pond. But if I go inside, it'll disappear. So now I'm just gonna sit here and wait for this present to make it over here to me. You know, it is a Nook Mile thing. Dang, I was hoping it would fall in the water. It is actually a Nook Mile achievement if you hit it over water. I should have done that well. I did get a DJ's turntable though. Look how close I am to paying off this loan. I only need a little less than 100,000 more bells. I'm thriving. I'm staying in my lane. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. I told you the rain has me so tired in this game right now. Now that I finally hit 50,000 Nook miles, I guess I should, should, what am I saying? I guess I should spend it on some stuff, some fencing. That was a cool like 50 seconds I had with 50,000 Nook miles. Okay, I don't feel like doing these other Nook mile things. So I'm just gonna time travel forward so that we get one of our villagers. You all, I am appalled. It is raining on the day that I time travel to as well. I mean, it's like the next day, but it's time tra- It's, it's raining again today. Tom Nook made the announcement. Lotus Reef gained a new neighbor today, Chester. Tom Nook, I think you mean. This week, a hot new bombshell enters the villa. Anyway, I can't wait to meet him. This also happens to be the first day of July. Um, like the day I'm playing in right now. So that means different bugs and fish maybe? I'll have to check and see what July fish are. There's just a little side note while we're running, but oh my gosh, we have Harv on the island. And Rocket's try- dang it. Rocket's trying to speak to us again. What do you want? Have you introduced yourself to Chester yet? Maybe this is weird, but now that he's around, Lotus Reef is feeling like a whole new place. And that got me wondering, how do we make this place more welcoming for when someone else like Chester comes along? I think maybe it's time to give Lotus Reef a little more personality. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about the vibe we've got going now. I just want to amp it up some. Do you ever feel like Rocket might be trying to steal my job? Like I'm resident representative and I feel like she's trying to take over as like the island designer. It's like, when someone else from the wedding party wants to be the wedding planner and you've already hired someone for it. I hired myself for this island design. Rocket does say she bought us something kind of rad though. Who? It's gonna be a Nook Mile item. What'd she get us? I know that you know where a springy ride on ought to go, Vroom. Okay, we're gonna, yeah. All right, whatever. We're just gonna place it right here so that she thinks we appreciate her. It's not even one of the cute ones. That's not her fault. Like that depends on the airport you have, but that's disappointing. Also, Harv, I will talk to you soon, King. Oh my gosh, look at that bug. And red, red, I almost said rod. 
Red is here too. What a busy day. I can't even buy a painting from him right now because I put all of my money in my savings. So I'm just gonna let him walk around a bit. Now we have a bug to donate. That's exciting. I forgot I literally placed a bridge that I could have run through, but it's okay. I got the vaulting pole out. Look at Chester's house. It's so pretty. I don't think I'm even gonna have to customize it. So won't have to play Happy Home Paradise for him at least. Let's go say hi to him. Look at him. What a cutie. I know this is like a controversial opinion, but I think that Chester is adorable. I'm so excited to have him here. I might try to change up his outfit, give him a cute new look, but... His coloring and everything is so precious. Also, this is a side note and unrelated to the video, but I'm snacking on them right now. And the S'mores Trail Mix, the favorite day brand from Target, S'mores Trail Mix, phenomenal. Please go get some. Y'all, I'm eating trail mix, but it is literally raining again. It is raining again. I time traveled again. That's why labels there. What is happening? Now for today's news. Otis Reef gained a new neighbor today, Piper. Also, I just let Roni in the room because he was violently trying to get in here. So if you hear him jingling around, just ignore him. He's a good boy. I feel like I casually plan to have Piper on every single one of my islands and then I never end up getting her. So it's really exciting that she's here today. Before we go visit her, I do want to see what label's offering so we can finally get Able Sisters on the island. Oh my gosh, I forgot I didn't have any bells. No. Okay, let me go get some bells. You hear his bell? That's Roni. That's my king. That's my little boy. I know there's not like a live feed of him, but I hope you can feel his aura throughout this video. He will not let me put him down right now. He's snuggling, so hold on. Okay, anyway, back to the mission at hand. I'm gonna get some bells out so that we can buy some stuff from Label. Um, but just a little fun fact for the day. I was reading the other day about how cats don't really understand the concept of rooms or the concept of like home ownership, obviously. So whenever you have a cat, they actually think that they like own the home that you're in. And so when you have a door closed, they feel like offended because they're like, why can't I get into this room? Like I own this place. Why are they cutting off my access to this room? And I just think that's hilarious. Like cats are so entitled and honestly, they're just a bunch of kings and queens. Oh my gosh, I was trying to buy some things and now my pockets are full again. Why am I like this? Let me go empty these pockets. Okay, anyway, I just bought a few things from Label and my cat has officially ruined my little desk pad for my desk. I got a really cute green desk pad to match with my room decor. I just scared that away, dang it. And uh, Roni just attempted to jump onto the desk and dug his nails specifically into the desk pad. So that was really cool of him. That was good evidence for why he was not in here before. In better news, look who it is. It's Piper High Queen. I feel like I've casually planned to have her on every single one of my, have I already said this? I feel like I always want to have her on my island, but I never end up getting her. Sorry, I'm backing away because Roni is once again digging his claws into the desk pad. Roni, please. He doesn't meow, by the way. He just tapped the microphone. He doesn't meow. He only silently meows. Now he's smelling my face. Roni, please let go. Please let go of the microphone. Thank you. Anyway, he's like a VIP character on our show now on the Lex Play channel. So everyone say hi, Roni. He'll hear you, I promise. Okay, I'm time traveling the last time in today's video so that we can meet this villager. Um, Place your bets now. Is it gonna be rainy or not? Oh my gosh, it's not raining. Look at that, the sun is shining. This is a great omen. I bet that means we're gonna have a stellar campsite villager, which is gonna be in the next video, by the way. Oh my gosh, I skipped right over who the villager was because you're not gonna believe this. I was eating trail mix. So I hope you give her lots of great advice while living here. Let's go see who she is. If you don't already know, She. this is my favorite of my new villagers. Ooh, I think he's gonna tell us, yeah, resident services is gonna be, um, closed tomorrow because they're turning it into the building. Look at Piper. I was talking to Mabel because now she's going to want to put the shop on our island and Piper's walking around the resident fashionista herself. I love her. I'm so glad she's on the island. Also, I don't know if this is a popular opinion or not, but I like label, not label. I can, have I been calling her label the whole time? I meant Mabel. I know the difference between that. You know what the problem is? I watched an Amanda Files video earlier today that had label in it and I heard the name label and that's just, I am so sorry. Please don't think I'm stupid. Look at Piper. She's so cute. Staying trendy, chickadee. Let's chat. Did you know the moon is about 235,000 miles away? I'm going to walk around the Lotus Reef shore until I've walked that far. Please do, queen. Just call me Moonbird. She does look like her head could be the moon. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, watch out for Groove, bestie. I think I'm just gonna place Able Sisters right beside Nook's Cranny because this beach has so much space to spare, so we might as well. I didn't mean to massacre that coconut tree, but it's okay. And here is Mitzi's house. This looks so cute for like a tropical city aesthetic but I don't know if I'm gonna go for city. My plan was to go for a resort, so I might have to change her house as well as Piper's. Look at her. Look at our queen. Hi, Mitzi. I had Mitzi on my first ever island, Rivendell, and I'm pretty sure I traded her away. Worst mistake of my life. Look at how precious she is. She is such a perfect little tropical cat. Look at how vivid her colors are. She is beautiful. As of today, I can start saying that I'm from Lotus Reef too. Yes, you can. Anyway, I've been playing for legitimately two hours now and I feel like I should go and snuggle with my real life villager Oni so that he's not lonely. Um, I'll see you all in the next video and thank you for watching today. Let me know your predictions for who our first campsite villager is gonna be in the next Let's Play video. Um, has to be a smug villager, which means it's gonna be a boy. I'm gonna guess just because I've never had him, I'm gonna guess Marlo, is that his name? Is that, you know, the little hamster with the glasses, the gangster, the, yeah, the mobster, the mobster, there we go. Anyway, have a beautiful day. Remember to take care of yourself, take your meds, drink some water, some actual water, and I will see you all in the next video.